everybody says here, you know, the first step is just walk in that door. But this is how I ha handle this. There's days where you have problems. Everybody has problems, right? But when I come in that door, I hang those problems up on that hook, and I pick them up when I, and they're gonna be there when I leave, but I pick them up when I go, because when I'm in here, they're gone. And you think about it, you're sweating your ass off with a bunch of great people, and you, it, for the health of it. Hey, my name is Ron Neville, and I've been uh, at CrossFit 845 in and out, but mostly in for about five years. I hear people so many times say, you're not 59, or come on. And it, it feels really good to hear someone say that. And then to hear other people say, I, I, I hope I'm going to be doing like you're doing at your age. And I don't take that as a, as a disrespect. I take that as a big compliment. I stay here because it just, I like the way I look, I like the way I feel. When I started about five years ago, I was in bad shape. I looked nine months pregnant. I was terrible. I mean, I wheezed. I think I was, my, my worst was 225, and now I've been hovering around 185, 190. You can look as good as you want, but if you don't feel good inside, it don't mean, it don't mean shit. I mean, look at people like, um, and taking a different thing, Robin Williams. Everybody thought he was the happiest guy in the world, you know? And he wasn't. And there's a lot of people out there that are happy, but they're not, you know? So, I mean, you can look great, but if you don't feel good about yourself, it don't matter. The one thing that CrossFit does for me is it makes, it allows me to be me. When I was in school, I was an introvert. And this place allows me to be, to, you know, express myself. Everybody wants to do well, but everybody else wants, but they also want everybody around them to do well. There's not just like a, a me, it's a you, it's everybody. There's not, I mean, everybody wants to do well, but they're also here for everybody else too. They're cheering for everybody as well. So that's why I'm here. I, I love the fact that I'm doing something and when I'm trying to get something done, everybody around you is trying to cheer you on. What it saved me from, I feel, is living longer because I'm 59 years old, and I'm not saying I would have died, but I think I would have gotten worse, a lot worse than I am right now, and I feel so healthy right now. When I was at work, this was, this was my routine. Mornings, every morning, a cup of coffee, and a lot of sugar, and a donut, and then a crap for lunch, and you know, chips, a sandwich. Later on in the day, another cup of coffee, and a donut. And then when I was on my way home, a bag of potato chips and a soda. They would be gone by the time I got home. Dinner time. So I would be binging while I'm putting dinner together. And when I mean binging, I mean binging. I mean, I'll eat pickles. Then I'd cook up a hot dog. There'd be steak in the refrigerator. I'd eat that. There'd be chips probably scattered in the cupboard. I'd grab a handful of that. There'd be cookies. I'd eat them. 